Welcome back my dear friends in the last video we have seen how to create a schema and how to create a class and how to save the data to the database which is our mongo database now we will add some little bit validations into our schema uh, like trimming the values which we are getting from the uh, client side and uh, creating uh, unique values like if email somebody has been already registered with the email and some other guy is trying to register with the same email but um, then he should not do he should not be able to register that so all those things we will create in this tutorial and i guess this tutorial will be uh, small because uh, the lengthy tutorials are little bit overwhelming in one tutorial showing everything so i'll create a small small pieces of this and uh, yeah so just stay tuned with me and uh, start learning so the first thing which i'll do is trim true this thing what it does is if you are providing any data like var name equal to something like this not this but yeah this so it will remove this extra spaces from the start and the end of the string and uh, yeah so email should be required means uh, uh, if the user is not sending the name then he should get any error he, he should the system should throw an error that please provide us name because it is required so we'll add that thing here r e d make it true so that t r u e true it is required here now third thing will be minimum length min l e n g t h so here the difference in between required true and min length is so suppose the user is providing you the body as a response request body as name equal to name equal to this so with the required it will it will look for the property yeah so the name is there save it to the database but this min length will check if it is not empty it should have at least three characters inside the name property then only it will validate the name and um, process the data to the database so that's what we will do here same thing we'll do for email and same thing we'll do for password and the password should be at least eight characters long it should not be it's just a what do you say convention for me name should be around also six characters that's not six but four is good four is good enough for me and yes the email as i said it should be unique for each and every user so you and i just have to pass one property here as t r u e and i'll close this notification as of now remind me tomorrow okay yeah so uh, the minimum level of validations we have already created now i'll create a variable which will be an array and that will be the tokens so when you are logging with this uh, system when you are logging with your tablet when you are logging with your ipad iphone uh, android phone any phone means uh, so that you can uh, log in with your multiple devices and the all the multiple devices will have the unique token of uh, of the app which you are going to use so for that we will create a token which will be an array e o k e n s tokens so it it can it will have a multiple tokens inside it one will be logged in from the desktop one will be from the laptop one will be from your phone so that's how the logic is simple logic which is and uh, the first property will be a c c e s s access which type will be string third thing will be second thing will be type and yeah it is also required q u i r a d required true similarly we will create a token string but uh, the name will be token type string required true so that's how the minimum level of validations in the next thing what we are going to do is we will create a function which will generate the token which will generate the token and store the token inside this array then we will uh, what do you say encrypt the 
password by using a library which is a uh, bcrypt and uh, the third thing is for now for the for now i think this much is good which uh, the next two steps which i just discussed will do in the next video for this will be a short video the next will be the short because it is easy to process so stay tuned with me subscribe like comment dislike compliment whatever you want to do just do it